In the grand tapestry of the progressive understanding paradigm, PEEP, and the progressive domination paradigm, PDP, the discourse on resources, emerges as a crucial element in understanding the intricate dynamics between the conflicting ideologies represented by the nemesis Dylan E.T. and the demagogue Lady Jasper. The resources category within this narrative encompasses three distinct facets, cultivating meaning, teleological alignment, and community trust. Each aspect plays a pivotal role in shaping the ethos and actions of both Dylan E.T. and Lady Jasper, providing insight into their motivations, values, and methods of engagement within the virtual battleground of Fortnite. Cultivating meaning serves as a cornerstone of Dylan E.T.'s approach, reflecting his commitment to nurturing growth and fostering a deeper understanding of the virtual world he inhabits. Uh, through his strategic maneuvers and deliberate gameplay choices, Dylan cultivates meaning not only for himself, but also for those who follow in his footsteps. His utilization of the OG Fortnite map as a canvas for exploration and discovery speaks to his reverence for the virtual landscape and his desire to uncover its hidden secrets. In contrast, Lady Jasper's approach to cultivating meaning is characterized by a darker ethos, one rooted in the exploitation of resources for personal gain. Her actions within the virtual realm are driven by a Machiavellian pursuit of power and control, devoid of the nurturing and growth-oriented mindset embodied by Dylan E.T. For Lady Jasper, the concept of cultivating meaning takes on a twisted form, one that seeks to dictate growth and impose her will upon the virtual landscape, regardless of the consequences. Teleological alignment delves into the deeper purpose and orientation, guiding the actions of both protagonists within the Fortnite universe. For Dylan E.T., teleological alignment represents a divine orientation towards a higher purpose, symbolized by his embodiment of the legendary Doomslayer persona. His quest for mastery and triumph within the virtual realm is imbued with a sense of cosmic destiny, driving him ever forward in pursuit of his teleological alignment. In contrast, Lady Jasper's teleological alignment is characterized by a Machiavellian pursuit of power and domination, devoid of any higher purpose or moral imperative. Her actions within the Fortnite universe are guided solely by her desire for conquest. In the grand tapestry of the progressive understanding paradigm PEEP and the progressive domination paradigm PDP, the discourse on resources exception, emerges as a crucial element in understanding the intricate dynamics between the conflicting ideologies represented by the nemesis Dylan E.T. and the demagogue Lady Jasper. The resources category within this narrative encompasses three distinct facets, cultivating meaning, teleological alignment, and community trust. Each aspect plays a pivotal role in shaping the ethos and actions of both Dylan E.T. and Lady Jasper, providing insight into their motivations, values, and methods of engagement within the virtual battleground of Fortnite. Cultivating meaning serves as a cornerstone of Dylan E.T.'s approach, reflecting his commitment to nurturing growth and fostering a deeper understanding of the virtual world he inhabits. Uh, through his strategic maneuvers and deliberate gameplay choices, Dylan cultivates meaning not only for himself, but also for those who follow in his footsteps. His utilization of the OG Fortnite map as a canvas for exploration and discovery speaks to his reverence for the virtual landscape and his desire to uncover its hidden secrets. In contrast, Lady Jasper's approach to cultivating meaning is characterized by a darker ethos, one rooted in the exploitation of resources for personal gain. Her actions within the virtual realm are driven by a Machiavellian pursuit of power and control, devoid of the nurturing and growth-oriented mindset embodied by Dylan E.T. For Lady Jasper, the concept of cultivating meaning takes on a twisted form, one that seeks to dictate growth and impose her will upon the virtual landscape, regardless of the consequences. Teleological alignment delves into the deeper purpose and orientation, guiding the actions of both protagonists within the Fortnite universe. For Dylan E.T., teleological alignment represents a divine orientation towards a higher purpose, symbolized by his embodiment of the legendary Doomslayer persona. His quest for mastery and triumph within the virtual realm is imbued with a sense of cosmic destiny, driving him ever forward in pursuit of his teleological alignment. In contrast, 
Lady Jasper's teleological alignment is characterized by a Machiavellian pursuit of power and domination, devoid of any higher purpose or moral imperative. Her actions within the Fortnite universe are guided solely by her desire for conquest. In the vast expanse of the digital realm, where pixels dance and narratives unfold, a thread emerges, weaving together tales of triumph, camaraderie, and strategic brilliance within the realm of competitive gaming. Within this thread, two distinct paradigms clash. The progressive understanding paradigm, P-Up, symbolized by the steadfast figure of Dylan E.T., and the looming shadow of Machination Jasper, Analysis of story time, unveiling the epic clash of ideologies. In the grand tapestry of storytelling, where characters dance across the stage of destiny, the narrative threads woven within this thread converge to create an epic saga of ideological conflict, moral ambiguity, and the timeless struggle for power and enlightenment. Rooted in the realms of fantasy and intrigue, the narrative unfolds across multiple dimensions, each layer revealing deeper insights into the complex interplay between virtue and vice, ambition and righteousness, liberation and control. At the heart of the narrative lies the enigmatic figure of Lucy Stearns, a beacon of wisdom and defiance amidst the storm of conflicting ideologies. As the master of linguistic semiotics, Lucy embodies the virtues of wisdom and patience wielding her blade forge with a mastery that transcends mere martial prowess. Her journey symbolizes the transformative power of knowledge and the quest for enlightenment as she navigates the treacherous waters of deception and ambition in her pursuit of liberation. Opposing Lucy is the form...
In the grand tapestry of symbolic archetypes, the figure of the combat chaplain emerges as a poignant representation of the eternal struggle between opposing forces, embodied by the majestic, sh she, and the formidable. Within the realm of virtue and vice, action and machination, the combat chaplain navigates a perilous journey, seeking to reconcile the inherent conflicts within his own being, while serving as a guiding light amidst the chaos of battle. At the heart of the combat chaplain's symbolic significance lies his role identity, characterized by the regal and the enigmatic. These symbols encapsulate the dichotomy between righteousness and malevolence, altruism and exploitation, embodying the eternal struggle between good and evil that defines the human condition. The combat chaplain's claimed resource of fraud serves as a beacon of resilience amidst the tumult of conflict, ta reflecting his steadfast commitment to fortitude and integrity. While both the and the Psy seek to establish dominance through their actions and machinations, the combat chaplain draws strength from the depths of his soul, forging a sanctuary of unwavering resolve in the face of adversity. In traversing the terrain of exploratory transition, the combat chaplain confronts the spectrum of human experience from the vibrant hues of hope and progress to the shadowy depths of despair and stagnation. Um, yet, he transcends these polarities through his embrace of migratory adaption, navigating the shifting sands of change with grace and resilience. Within the realm of knowledge domain, the combat chaplain grapples with the forces of deception and control symbolized by the cunning um, yet, he counters these machinations with the power of wisdom and truth, wielding knowledge as a weapon against the encroaching darkness. In his interactions with targeted contacts, the combat chaplain confronts the apathy and indifference that threaten to engulf the human spirit. Through his action of imbibe elucidation and his unwavering commitment to empathy, he kindles the flames of compassion in the hearts of those he encounters, inspiring hope amidst the desolation of war. In the realm of process expression, the combat chaplain asserts his presence with a quiet yet formidable strength, channeling the power of incantation and assertive articulation to weave a tapestry of hope amidst the chaos of conflict. Through his creative expression and unwavering conviction, he becomes a beacon of inspiration amidst the darkness. As the relentless in the grand tapestry of symbolic archetypes, the figure of the combat chaplain emerges as a poignant representation of the eternal struggle between opposing forces, embodied by the majestic, she, and the formidable. Within the realm of virtue and vice, action and machination, the combat chaplain navigates a perilous journey, seeking to reconcile the inherent conflicts within his own being, while serving as a guiding light amidst the chaos of battle. At the heart of the combat chaplain's symbolic significance lies his role identity, characterized by the regal and the enigmatic. These symbols encapsulate the dichotomy between righteousness and malevolence, altruism and exploitation, embodying the eternal struggle between good and evil that defines the human condition. The combat chaplain's claimed resource of fraud serves as a beacon of resilience amidst the tumult of conflict, ta reflecting his steadfast commitment to fortitude and integrity. While both the and the Psy seek to establish dominance through their actions and machinations, the combat chaplain draws strength from the depths of his soul, forging a sanctuary of unwavering resolve in the face of adversity. 
In traversing the terrain of exploratory transition, the combat chaplain confronts the spectrum of human experience from the vibrant hues of hope and progress to the shadowy depths of despair and stagnation. Um, yet he transcends these polarities through his embrace of migratory adaption, navigating the shifting sands of change with grace and resilience. Within the realm of knowledge domain, the combat chaplain grapples with the forces of deception and control symbolized by the cunning. Um, yet he counters these machinations with the power of wisdom and truth, wielding knowledge as a weapon against the encroaching darkness. In his interactions with targeted contacts, the combat chaplain confronts the apathy and indifference that threaten to engulf the human spirit. Through his action of imbibe elucidation and his unwavering commitment to empathy, he kindles the flames of compassion in the hearts of those he encounters, inspiring hope amidst the desolation of war. In the realm of process expression, the combat chaplain asserts his presence with a quiet yet formidable strength, channeling the power of incantation and assertive articulation to weave a tapestry of hope amidst the chaos of conflict. Through his creative expression and unwavering conviction, he becomes a beacon of inspiration amidst the darkness. As the relentless tide of ancient generation threatens to drown out the voices of reason, the combat chaplain stands firm against the forces of rejection in the grand tapestry of symbolic archetypes. Amidst the tumultuous clash of ideologies and paradigms, the symbolic figure of the combat chaplain emerges as a beacon of moral clarity and spiritual resilience. Within the intricate dance between the virtues and vices represented by the figures of Tsi and Hei, the combat chaplain embodies the essence of transformative engagement and enlightened action, wielding the weapons of righteousness against the forces of darkness and exploitation. At the core of the combat chaplain's identity lies the crown of humility, symbolizing their recognition of a higher purpose and a steadfast commitment to serving a greater good beyond mere mortal ambitions. This humility serves as the foundation upon which their actions are built, grounding them in a deep sense of moral responsibility and ethical integrity. The gemstone of fortitude adorns the figurative armor of the combat chaplain, imbuing them with the strength and resilience needed to withstand the relentless onslaught of vice and corruption represented by. In the face of greed and territorialism, the combat chaplain stands firm, defending the boundaries of truth and justice with unwavering determination. As they navigate the turbulent seas of ideological conflict, the combat chaplain embodies the spirit of migratory adaptation continuously evolving and adapting their strategies to confront the ever-shifting tactics of their adversaries. Their deliberate focus on truth serves as a guiding light in the darkness of deception, illuminating the path forward with unwavering clarity and conviction. In their arsenal of incantations, the combat chaplain wields the power of assertive articulation, using words as both weapons and shields in the battle against ignorance and apathy. Theirs is a language of empathy and understanding, capable of piercing through the veil of indifference 
and inspiring others to join them in the fight for justice and enlightenment. Through the practice of imbibe elucidation, the combat chaplain seeks to cultivate empathy and compassion in the hearts of their allies and adversaries alike, bridging the divides that separate them and fostering a sense of shared humanity in the midst of conflict. Theirs is a mission of revelation and transformation, inviting others to embrace the light of truth and reject the shadows of deceit and manipulation. In their quest for enlightenment and understanding, the combat chaplain embraces the emergent approach exploring the depths of complexity and uncertainty with open minds and open hearts. Through revelatory engagement, they challenge the entrenched narratives of and offer alternative visions of unity and cooperation rooted in the principles of compassion and solidarity. In their iterative pursuit of clarity, the combat chaplain seeks to dismantle the functional mechanisms of oppression and exploitation, replacing them with structures that nurture growth and cultivate meaning. Theirs is a journey towards liberation and empowerment, guided by the principles of patience and perseverance. Amidst the tumultuous clash of ideologies and paradigms, the symbolic figure of the combat chaplain emerges as a beacon of more. Within the intricate tapestry of ideological conflict and conquest, the figure of the semiotic sorcerer emerges as a formidable disciple of the conquest paradigm, wielding the arcane arts of symbolism and manipulation to further the agenda of and entrench the forces of darkness and exploitation. Through a detailed analysis of the symbols and virtues associated with A and A's, we can uncover the essence of the semiotic sorcerer and their role in perpetuating the cycle of oppression and domination. At the heart of the semiotic sorcerer's identity lies the crown of dominion, symbolizing their insatiable thirst for power and control over the minds and hearts of others. Unlike the combat chaplain, who wields humility as a shield against the corrupting influence of pride, the semiotic sorcerer embraces arrogance and self-aggrandizement, viewing themselves as the rightful rulers of their domain. The gemstone of manipulation uh, adorns the figurative scepter of the semiotic sorcerer, granting them the ability to bend reality to their will and twist the truth to serve their own ends. Where the combat chaplain seeks to uphold the boundaries of truth and justice, the semiotic sorcerer delights in blurring the lines between fact and fiction, sowing seeds of doubt and confusion in the minds of their adversaries. As they navigate the treacherous waters of ideological warfare, the semiotic sorcerer embodies the spirit of stagnation, seeking to maintain the status quo and resist any attempts at change or transformation. Theirs is a deliberate focus on maintaining the existing power structures and preserving their own position of privilege and authority, regardless of the cost to others. In their arsenal of invocations, the semiotic sorcerer wields the power of aggressive articulation, using words as weapons to silence dissent and crush opposition. Theirs is a language of coercion and intimidation, designed to cow their enemies into submission and compel others to bend to their will through fear and manipulation. Through the practice of indifference, the semiotic sorcerer seeks to cultivate apathy and resignation in the hearts of their followers numbing them to the suffering of others and desensitizing them to the injustices perpetuated by the conquest paradigm. Theirs is a mission of exploitation and domination, using the vulnerabilities of others as leverage to further their own agenda. In their quest for power and control, the semiotic sorcerer within the intricate tapestry of ide...
In the enchanting realm of storytelling, where the forces of and converge in a dance of light and shadow, the elements of revelation form tinkering and connection analysis. Germ serve as the cornerstone of narrative construction and meaning making. Through a comprehensive analysis of these elements, we can embark on a journey into the heart of story time, where tales of heroism and villainy, triumph and tragedy unfold amidst the cosmic backdrop of ideological conflict and conquest. At the heart of story time lies the quest for revelation, a relentless pursuit of truth and understanding amidst the complexities of the human experience. Through the art of storytelling, we uncover hidden truths and profound insights, shedding light on the darkest corners of the human soul and illuminating the path towards enlightenment and liberation. Form tinkering serves as the creative crucible through which stories are forged and shaped, molding raw materials of imagination and inspiration into intricate tapestries of narrative complexity and depth. Like a master craftsman, the storyteller weaves together threads of plot and character setting and theme to create a rich and vibrant world that captivates the imagination and transports the audience to realms beyond their wildest dreams. Connection analysis serves as the guiding compass that navigates the seas of narrative exploration, forging connections between disparate elements and uncovering hidden patterns and meanings lurking beneath the surface. Through careful analysis and interpretation, the storyteller unveils the underlying truths and universal themes that resonate across cultures and generations, weaving a tapestry of shared humanity that binds us all together in a web of common experience and understanding. In the grand tapestry of story time, the elements of revelation, form tinkering, and connection analysis converge to create a symphony of storytelling that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Through the art of narrative, we explore the, the, the depths of the human psyche, wrestle with existential questions, and embark on epic adventures that stretch the limits of imagination and beyond. Within the realm of And, story time serves as a battleground where the forces of light and darkness clash in an eternal struggle for supremacy. Through the power of storytelling, we confront the demons of our past, challenge the status quo, and envision a brighter future filled with hope and possibility. In the end, story time is more than just entertainment. It is a sacred ritual that connects us to our past, illuminates our present, and inspires us to shape the future. Um, through the art of storytelling, we become the architects of our own destiny, weaving together the threads of our lives into a tapestry of meaning and purpose that transcends the boundaries of time and space.
in the ethereal battleground of ideological warfare, uh, where the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer stand as embodiments of opposing paradigms, the clash between virtue and vice unfolds amidst a tapestry woven with symbols and virtues. Uh, at the heart of this conflict lie the resources symbolized by cultivating meaning, community trust, and chasa, teleological alignment, each playing a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of the combatants and the world they inhabit. Cultivating meaning represents the essence of growth, transformation, and enlightenment within this cosmic struggle. For the combat chaplain, it signifies the nurturing of virtues such as patience, perseverance, and compassion in the fertile soil of shared humanity. Through their actions, they seek to cultivate a sense of purpose and understanding, fostering connections that transcend the boundaries of ideology and division. In contrast, the semiotic sorcerer perverts this virtue, dictating growth through manipulation and exploitation, distorting truth and reality to serve their own nefarious ends. Theirs is a cultivation of darkness, sowing seeds of discord and chaos in the pursuit of power and control. Community trust emerges as a sacred circle of unity and mutual respect where bonds of integrity and authenticity are forged amidst the chaos of ideological conflict. For the combat chaplain, it serves as a beacon of hope and resilience, a sanctuary where allies can come together in pursuit of a common purpose. Through their unwavering commitment to building rapport and fostering genuine connections, they inspire others to join them in the fight for justice and enlightenment. In contrast, the semiotic sorcerer exploits this trust, using it as a tool of manipulation and coercion to further their own agenda of domination and control. Theirs is a community built on fear and submission, where loyalty is bought and sold to the highest bidder. Teleological alignment represents the divine orientation towards a higher purpose and destiny, guiding the actions of both the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer in their quest for supremacy. For the combat chaplain, it signifies a commitment to the principles of love and justice, orienting themselves towards a future where all beings are treated with dignity and respect. Through their alignment with this higher purpose, they draw strength and inspiration to confront the forces of darkness and exploitation that threaten to engulf the world. In contrast, the semiotic sorcerer perverts this alignment, twisting it to serve their own selfish desires for power and control. Theirs is a teleology of tyranny, where the pursuit of domination justifies any means necessary, regardless of the cost to others or the world at large. In conclusion, the resources of cultivating meaning, community trust, in the ethereal battleground of ideological warfare, uh, where the combat chaplain In the vast expanse of ideological conflict, the narratives of the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer emerge as contrasting epics, each woven with symbols of virtue and vice, light and darkness. Central to their tales is the concept of story time, depicted through the resources of emergent approach, form tinkering, and perceptive sharing, offering insights into their methods of narrative construction and manipulation. For the combat chaplain, story time represents a realm of emergent approaches and transformative narratives, where the essence of virtue and righteousness is crafted into tales of hope and resilience. Through revelatory engagement and assertive articulation, they challenge the entrenched narratives of oppression and exploitation, offering alternative visions rooted in compassion and solidarity. 
Theirs is a quest for truth and understanding, a journey towards enlightenment and liberation, where each story is a beacon of moral clarity and spiritual resilience, inspiring others to join the fight for justice and enlightenment. Conversely, the semiotic sorcerer perverts the power of story time, using it as a tool of manipulation and deception to further their own agenda of domination and control. Through aggressive articulation and manipulative tinkering, eh, they warp reality, crafting narratives that serve to entrench the forces of darkness and exploitation. Theirs is a tale of deceit and exploitation, where truth is but a pawn in their game of power and control, and each story is a weapon in their arsenal of manipulation and coercion designed to subjugate and exploit. Form tinkering emerges as a realm of iterative clarity and functional manipulation, where the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer shape the very fabric of truth and reality to suit their own ends. For the combat chaplain, form tinkering represents a journey towards liberation and empowerment, where the functional mechanisms of oppression and exploitation are dismantled and replaced with structures that nurture growth and cultivate meaning. Theirs is a quest for clarity and understanding, where each iteration brings them closer to the truth and each adjustment brings them closer to justice and enlightenment. In contrast, the semiotic sorcerer perverts the power of form tinkering, using it to twist and distort truth, reality, and meaning to suit their own selfish desires for power and control. Through their manipulative tinkering, they create a world where darkness reigns supreme, and each adjustment brings them closer to their goal of domination and control. Theirs is a journey towards ever greater complexity and deception, where each in the vast expanse of ideological In the grand tapestry of ideological conflict, where the forces of virtue and vice engage in an eternal struggle for dominion over the hearts and minds of humanity, a universe of profound symbolism and epic narratives unfolds. At its core, this universe is a reflection of the eternal battle between light and darkness, encapsulated by the archetypal figures of the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer. The theme of this universe is one of moral clarity and spiritual resilience where the combat chaplain emerges as a beacon of hope and righteousness amidst the tumultuous clash of ideologies and paradigms. Through their embodiment of humility, fortitude, and, and migratory adaptation, they navigate the turbulent seas of ideological conflict with unwavering determination and steadfast commitment to serving a greater good beyond mere mortal ambitions. In contrast, the semiotic sorcerer embodies the forces of darkness and exploitation, wielding the arcane arts of manipulation and deception to further the agenda of domination and control. Through their arrogance and self-aggrandizement symbolized by the crown of dominion and the gemstone of manipulation, Aquini, they seek to maintain the status quo and resist any attempts at change or transformation, perpetuating a cycle of oppression and tyranny. The intent of this universe is to explore the complexities of virtue and vice, light and darkness, through the lens of epic narratives and profound symbolism. Through the interplay of symbols such as incantations, imbibe elucidation, and revelatory engagement, the universe delves into the depths of human nature, revealing the struggles and triumphs of the human spirit in the face of adversity. 
At its heart, this universe is a reflection of the eternal struggle between good and evil, where the choices and actions of individuals shape the destiny of humanity. Through the epic tales of the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer, the universe invites exploration and contemplation of the timeless themes of justice, truth, and redemption. As the battle rages on, the fate of humanity hangs in the balance, poised between the forces of enlightenment and exploitation, hope and despair. Yet amidst the chaos and uncertainty, there remains a glimmer of hope, embodied by the courageous souls who dare to stand against the tide of darkness and champion the cause of righteousness. In conclusion, the universe depicted in this thread is a realm of epic narratives and profound symbolism, where the eternal struggle between virtue and vice unfolds amidst the clash of ideologies and paradigm. In the grand tapestry of ideological conflict, where the forces of virtue and vice engage in an eternal struggle for dominion over the hearts and minds of humanity, a universe of profound symbolism and epic narratives unfolds. At its core, this universe is a reflection of the eternal battle between light and darkness, encapsulated by the archetypal figures of the combat chaplain and the semiotic sorcerer.